I am Russell Steph. That is Chris. Here we are. Here we are. Good morning. Now, first off, <clears throat> let me give a shout out to two people that I have missed for about four days in a row. One is Denise at Pro Security for allowing us once again on Saturday shoot and Sunday that we use Pro Security. Uh, cars in our scene. Denise is always awesome. She's over there in Robinson. So if you need some security, you call Denise at Pro Security. She has hooked us up every time we needed it. She, yeah, they are amazing. Over so there. big shout out to them. The other one is I want to thank Don over there at the Gizmo Guru Paintball. He's the one that supplied the weapons, the M16s and stuff that you guys will see. Made me some paintball so I could uh, shoot some people with them. And that is a big plus for us in making uh, TV series, movies, and everything we do. Yeah, I, he's got a really cool place, and he always lets us. Um, I mean, yeah. Stuff and so big, cool. big, big shout out to those guys. Thank you very, very much. Very, very much. Very, very much. Trying to get in touch with Turk there to come do voiceovers for two commercials we have. Seeing yeah. him outdoor and. Uh, I also want to give a big shout out to Brad, who's written. Oh, not me, ain't even done that yet. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to whoever writes those commercials for us, since uh, we need them done. But he I got guess... Alan Samuels done. Okay. And uh, we went on and put our heads together and and got uh, C and M done. So okay. oh, that's they'll cool. they'll be happy that their commercials yeah. will be finished and up at Genie Car Wash. And Beautiful. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. A bunch of other places. I love it. I love it. Now, would you? Go on Survivor. Yeah. You would do it. Yeah, it's always been a, a, a cool deal. And the starving part yeah. kind of sucks. But I like all the events, you know, yeah. all, the, all the challenges. And I, and I think you'd do good at it. I think myself I would do good at it. Stephanie, I, I think you'd be, you got your mentally tough enough to do good at it. Just as long as there's no snake. But I have a, I have a question. Why? <laughs> Somebody in the NFL has a new gig and has signed up to try out to be on their Survivor. And, uh, but I mean, you know who this guy is. Anybody, I mean, I mean, they didn't know who Gary Hogeboom was. Remember when he right. did it? They didn't know he was an NFL quarterback. But Jimmy Johnson, ex coach <laughs> of the Dallas Cowboys, Jimmy Johnson, won it. His hair is going to be messed up. Yeah, I don't know how I that's going to happen. Know. You know, know they get to bring a couple things. He's bringing a brush. Uh, He's bringing a comb. Ain't no doubt. I think uh, hairspray. hairspray will be one of them. There ain't no oh, doubt. Please. And a bone comb. <laughs> now, my thing is, the only thing I always get, it kind of gets me when watching these shows is, it's only 30 days. 31 at the most, it's 30 days. And you would think that when they bring back a relative in two weeks or four days, you would think that they ain't seen them for 10 years. Yeah, right? that's true. I'm like, really? I, I think I, that has to go with the people they choose. I, I think that, I bet you there is a long mental oh, psychiatric God. evaluation that's done. Whether they, it's a checklist, right. you know, 20 page checklist. But they find people who's going to have that and that's that, going to have that, that drama. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That makes a good show, drama. <laughs> It does. It does. <laughs> and they call Boy, do it reality. I, do I have a good show that I think we could do? Drama series here. Uh -huh. Very Front nice. runner to play Simon <laughs> Cowell. Yeah, speaking of uh, uh, reality TV. So they're saying they wanted a, uh, a person that um, to replace Simon. And, you know, there's been a lot of talk of all these different people. Even Paula, they're saying would come back and replace Simon, which I think that's crazy. But um, the front runner right now, they're saying, is a high probability. All those others have kind of panned out. Chris Isaac. Or not panned out. Not panned not out. Not panned out. I, I would have went with Harry Connick Jr. I thought he did great on there. And everybody likes him. Yeah. And, and he's funny. Yeah. He is Why funny. I love Harry Why do you use Chris Isaacs? I don't really understand who's only had a couple songs. I don't 
know. If he wouldn't have had the hot girls in the one song, no. I wouldn't even know no, it. I know. That's true. Around with that is that's true. That's true. They're gonna have to show that every 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 episode probably. That <laughs> that's exactly right. Give me right. a lot. Just show that girl. Now, we use Craigslist. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. But we've never used it in a way of how this guy, Steve Ortiz, did it. Oh my gosh, this kid is amazing. He was 15 years old when he actually started. And I guess Craigslist has a barter section. Mm-hmm. And he started, he had an old mobile, wanted to get a newer one, wanted to see if somebody would trade out with him, traded out with him, got a newer one, went to an iPod Touch, then eventually traded that in for a dirt bike. Eventually traded that in for a 75 Ford Bronco, which is actually a collector's kind mm-hmm. of car. And then he said he's had a plethora of cars. Plethora. A plethora. plethora. Now, he has a 2000 Porsche Boxster S. Just from bartering that one old cell phone. Uh, you know what? Ago. A lot of people have something, and they want something different. Yeah. They'll trade with you. Yeah. So. Can you imagine? Now, where I'm going with this is, Craigslist is on the internet, and that's how powerful it is. People get on there and they trade and everything. I don't know if that everything. internet's gonna stay around. I don't know if it is, but if it does, it's we're, a tricky thing. we're we're in good shape. But we were having lunch yesterday, and Chris was telling me some of our sponsors. Are telling or, or people are coming in and, and saying, "Hey, they're getting business from us." Is that not correct? Yes. Fill us in, please. Oh, well, uh, here's the, here's the whole thing. Patrick's Dry Clean signed up with us a couple weeks ago. Yes, uh-huh. Their banners are running. We have their commercial running at Uni Car Wash, and he gave me a call yesterday. I called him back. He is the chairman of Ducks Unlimited. Ducks Unlimited. So we're going to have 10 tickets to give away for Ducks Unlimited. And he went, man, I'm glad I'm on the ground floor with you guys. I have seen a higher traffic volume coming in since I started advertising with you guys. I'm telling you. Wow, that is awesome. And I'm glad I got in on the ground floor. This company here is going to be around. I was about to just go off, but I'm not even going to do it. I'm not even going to go off. No. Ain't no reason. Ain't no reason. But I will say the one thing that I think that we do that nobody else does in town as far as TV or, or movies is we do give those local businesses an opportunity. Oh, you know, oh, yeah. we, we do want to push people in that, that in the community to, to go to those stores and, and use your what, drink juice. My, and my little names. red sea t shirts are going there because yeah. I don't want them to fade. I got That's one exactly for every right. day of the week. I can wear it, throw them in the pile, take it over there. He will be doing it. mine too. Yeah, yeah, me too. Just just dry clean them to where they don't look like these. You know, mm. kind of a ash, ash black. gray. <laughs> ash black. <laughs> Stephanie, 2010 American Customer Survey. Yes, this study showed Facebook is more hated than IRS. By whom? By tons of people that did the survey. It was scored, where the IRS is scored at a 76, Facebook was scored at a 64. So, they did some research and why is Facebook hated? Well, because at first there was an age Mm -hmm. thing, and so, you know, they've opened the age gap up to where more and more people can get on. So now that more and more people get on, there's a lot more uh, maintenance they have to do to upkeep with, you know, the traffic, the high volume of traffic, and the problems that started when more and more people started signing up. You know, it would lock you out, and remember all that stuff. And so, that's why. Well, I, think I told so. Russell this about an hour ago. Yes, he did. That's where I was going next. Do you have any idea how many people have how many Facebook accounts there are? Five hundred million. Wow. Five hundred million. There are three hundred and eight million people in the United States. Right. 